Welcome back to the Famous Room channel. After part 1 of the 90 Day Fiancé, the other way tell-all special, we knew that the drama wasn't over. The tell-all is a time for stars and couples to confront each other over perceived issues. The amazing host, Sean Robinson, presses couples and asks the hard question, exposing issues that were never resolved on camera. But after weeks and weeks of on-screen drama, which couples have made it? Watch and see for yourself who's still together and who has split. One, Laura and Aladdin. Based upon the tell-all part two, you'd think that they're still working on things. At least, despite wanting a divorce, Aladdin seemed to grudgingly agree to some sort of marriage counseling. Two, things were no longer working out. Laura had run out of money and could no longer pay rent. This is when she says Aladdin suddenly started having a problem with her. Three, Aladdin told a different story. Though he did seem to admit that Laura had been paying his rent after initially denying it, he was frustrated with Laura's independent attitude, which he found disrespectful. He also said that she would start drama for no reason. 4. In real time It looks like their marriage counseling or whatever did not work out if it happened at all. Laura has been hanging out in Ecuador for weeks with Evelyn Villegas. 5. In fact This week, Laura and Roll appeared to announce that they're a couple. Yes, Roll, the guy who's been in love with Evelyn forever. Maybe they're trolling. This would not be the first time that Laura misled fans. Maybe they're trying to make Aladdin and Evelyn jealous. Or maybe Laura's ability to seduce handsome men needs to be studied by a team of scientists to create a new billion-dollar industry. What the f- 6. Tiffany and Ronald It was heartbreaking to watch Tiffany and her darling son depart South Africa for the US, leaving Ronald behind. 7. But they are very much still married. Despite being physically separated, Tiffany and Ronald are still together. She gave birth to his daughter, Carly, just weeks before filming the tell-all. 8. They're such a sweet family. Ronald and Daniel really did bond in South Africa, even though Daniel and his mother both agreed that South Africa was not the best place for their family. 9. So what's keeping them apart? Nothing but money. Filing for a spousal visa, just like a K-1 visa, costs money. Financial realities mean that they need to wait and save up before they can try to bring Ronald over. 10. Jenny and Sumit For most couples on 90 Day Fiancé, announcing a marriage is a wonderful thing. For Jenny, it was heartbreaking. 11. Sumit is married to someone else During his online courtship with Jenny, he got married. It sounds like he feels trapped in a loveless marriage, but obviously Jenny has been devastated. 12. So, believe it or not, they are still together despite Sumit's marriage. Sumit and his wife are separated and it looks like they are working to over the divorce. Their hope is that Jenny can return to India and that they can get married. 13. Sumit had some explaining to do. It turns out that a huge part of the reason that he wanted to do the show was to show his wife and his family and her family how much he wanted to be out of that marriage and with Jenny. That'll do it. 14. Corey and Evelyn this may have been the most controversial relationship of the season, or at least a strong contender. And at the tell-all, it was clear that things aren't perfect, as Evelyn forgot to wear her engagement ring and has a list of demands for Corey before they can tie the knot. 15. Things got worse. It looked like they had some real issues to work out after the tell-all, though they did at least remain engaged. 16. But... Just days after the tell-all was filmed, Corey seemed to unfollow and block Evelyn on Instagram. Evelyn said some unkind things about Corey after he shared some of her personal issues with none other than Larissa Lima, whom he allegedly tried to kiss. 17. What now? Corey has insisted that he loves Evelyn in some very public statements, but it looks like there's a lot of tension and they seem to be appearing apart. Frankly, we're no longer sure if they'll ever walk down the aisle. If they'd never filmed for 90 Day Fiancé, however, we suspect that they'd be on the fast track to marriage already. 18. Divan and Jihoon Divan Clegg and Jihoon Lee are a family of four, including Drasilla and Young. Notably, Jihoon was the only non-American able to attend the tell-all in person. It is unclear why Karim could not. 19. Things are looking good 
Divan and Jihoon seem crazy about each other, and Jihoon has really bonded with Drasila, even defending her against haters online. Yes, online haters have said vile things about a preschool-aged child, even expressing a desire to inflict violence upon her, because some people are irredeemably awful. 12. But... Jihoon doesn't seem to have set up his own place just yet, and Divan was clearly disappointed to see that they'll continue to live with his parents. It's nothing against his parents, of course. 21. In real time. Since the filming of the tell-all, Divan discovered that she was pregnant. Then this news leaked to fans thanks to someone she has trusted, followed almost immediately by a miscarriage. That's why you don't spill the beans on a person's pregnancy, by the way. One in five end in a miscarriage. Don't compound tragedies. However, she and Jihoon appear to still be on track and yes, to still be married. 22. Paul and Karine. As we mentioned, Karina was mysteriously unable to attend the tell-all filming. This is especially odd since reports and fan sightings have placed her in the US for months now. Who knows with these two, they are a huge mess. 23. Paul had a pretty short segment. At the tell-all, he mostly just admitted that things could be difficult between him and Karine at times, even though they have baby Pierre, whom they call Pierre E in Brazilian fashion. 24. That's not a shocker. They've always had issues. Paul is for one thing a little weird, and Karine is a major. Maybe Paul's marriage would have less conflict if he weren't a man old enough to run for president, married to a college-aged woman, but whatever. 25. They're still married. Paul and Karine may not have a very healthy relationship from what anyone has seen, but they're still together. We hope that they work on their issues so that Pierre doesn't grow up in a toxic household.